last summer, and she obviously hasn't realized it yet, because she's still always talking to you and flirting with you and stuff. Are you out of your mind? Look at Jules' dating record, okay? She dated Dan Remick, who's had a six-pack since, like, kindergarten. Jason Stone, who looks like fucking Zach Morris, and Matt Muir. Matt Muir, he's the sweetest guy ever. Have you ever stared into his eyes? It was like the first time I heard the Beatles. If you're up to speed, so far, I've only heard about two Beatles songs, I believe. And A Day in the Life is a track that I play consistently um, since I've reacted to it on this channel. It is especially in my, you know, I like to ride bikes from time to time. And I'll put my headphone on and zone out to that track. So it's a song that whenever it shows up in the playlist, I continue to play it. So needless to say... I'm pretty excited about the next Beatles track, which was requested from a supporter. Today I'm checking out the Beatles, Now and Then. Do me a big favor and like the video if you enjoy this type of content. Let's go.
well, out of all the rabbit holes that I'm going to be diving down when it comes to this music and different bands, it looks like the Beatles is going to be a fun one, okay? Because the first thing I'm noticing is that they are showing insane versatility within their music. I don't know what I'm going to get the next Beatles track that I listen to, which I guess that's a, that's a trait of most of the, of the great bands out there. You know, there are some that stick to a pretty much similar format, and there are some that are just, they're painting a different canvas every time. And I love the songwriting in this one. I love, uh, great music can kind of move your emotions, you know, and this kind of takes me back to like, um, for lack of a better term, teenage love. Okay, it makes me feel that, you know, if you go, if you go back to when you were in high school, you had a crush on someone. If you were able to land your crush, that feeling you get is amplified versus when you're an adult. You know, then those bubbles in your stomach, you know, they start to disappear the more people you date as you get older. <laughs> you know, but it's well, when you first experience it as a teenager, man, it's it, it, it's really great. You know, when, especially if you've ever been in a in a relationship and, you know, during that time, you know, unless you were one of those people that went through high school and never had a girlfriend or boyfriend. And there's that, too. But. You know, for me, I had a brief period with that, and it takes me back to that space. And I love music that can remind me of that time when I listen to the Beatles music. That's kind of what I get. Kind of the opposite of that is a song by Don McLean called Vincent, which I think is one of the greatest songs of all time. And that gives you a different, that moves your emotions in a different way. You feel empathy, you feel um, the sincerity and the admiration that he's telling in that story, and also just the way that the song is written and the way it makes you feel. So to, to me, these are like uh, fire and ice. You know, not to compare the two, but I'm just comparing like how you feel when you listen to the music. You know, it's like that yin and yang thing. And for the same reasons I love listening to that music is the same reason you'll see me loving a track like this. This Beatles song was amazing. It was a 10 out of 10. I would definitely listen to this in the Forerunner and can't wait to check out the next Beatles track. You guys let me know in the comments section what I should check out next from the Beatles, and I will be reading your comments to see what your top three songs are, okay? If, if this was a, a great direction for me to go, I think so. I love the vibe of this. I will be adding it to the playlist. Shout out to the supporters that sent in the request for this one. If you just so happen to be a Beatles fan, let me know in the comments section your favorite or three of your favorite songs from the Beatles, and I'll be reading the comments section below to see what I should check out next. Um, also, if you guys want to support the show as these music reactions are not monetized, you can purchase a coffee in the link below and send in a request there too. leave a comment. I do read those as well or hit up my Patreon where you can catch content that doesn't make my YouTube channel and also hit me up directly. I respond to everyone who messages me on my Patreon. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. Peace.